Hello, my name is Mina. I'm Sherman. And I'm Emma. This is the content of our presentation today. We separated the presentation into six main topics: background, design, materials, concerns, construction, and our team. Now let us start with the background information: the environment. Taiwan is a small island country in East Asia, surrounded by the ocean on every side. Since it is located in between two tectonic plates, earthquakes occur often because of a convergent convergent plate movement. The central mountain range was created, which runs all the way from Yilan to the South Cape of Taiwan. Taiwan has seasonal monsoon, cold, dry wind from Siberia during winter time, and hot, humid wind from the Pacific Ocean in summer. Due to Taiwan's location on the Tropic of Cancer and its mountain ranges, it has tropical, subtropical, and temperate climate. The graph shows some of the serious earthquakes in Taiwan over the past ten years. The biggest earthquake in Taiwan happened on September twenty first, nineteen ninety nine. It caused a lot of destruction, injury, and death. Therefore, we plan to build certain house. Typhoon are also a big disaster in Taiwan. This graph shows some of the Serious typhoon in Taiwan over the past ten years. Therefore, we built a fan to stop the flood. Next, we will talk about the designs of our house. The basic idea behind our design is to have a safe and sustainable architecture while the inside is smart and comfortable. The the main goals of our house are to cut down unnecessary costs and avoid ways to make the house affordable for a middle class family. To use green material and designs to reduce harm to the environment. To make sure the users can control and use the devices in the house easily, and disaster prevention. This is a basic plot of our idea: four rooms and three bathrooms. In the back of the house, there will be spaces to put the water tank and electric organ. Our ground floor focuses on family gathering, where the whole family can stay together. The green part is a garden, and the gray part is a garage. First floor: laundry room, master bathroom, master bedroom, balcony, kids bedroom one, bathroom, kids bedroom two, and stairs. Loft: dormer over here, bookshelves, and a sofa. The following plot or structures will show more accuracy of this building plan. This is the layout plan and the pie chart of the space ratio of the ground floor. We're going to pick Scandinavian style. The style is simple with modern furniture, but can build the feelings of nature and warmth. We select French windows, sliding glass door, and open space to create a spacious and natural lighting environment. The family could spend time together in the living room. The other rooms have common arrangements. The stair from ground to first floor is L-shaped. This is the layout plan and space distribution of the first floor. The master bedroom is specially designed for the parents to take a rest after tiring workdays. The laundry room contains two hangers on the ceiling, sink, washer, and dryer. We decorated the kids' bedroom with a universe theme and gaming theme. The bathrooms have fundamental fixtures and bathtubs. That's balcony. The family can enjoy afternoon tea here. Here's one of the special parts of our design: spiral stairs with slides. This house is not only simple but also full of happiness. Lot: the place has a dormer, bookshelves, which can store something, and a sofa bed for the family to invite more people to the house. This is a scheme of the dormer. This is the 3D model of our house. As you can see, at the side of our house, there are four pillars. The pillar keep the house safe from earthquake. The height of our roof is six point seven meters, and the height of our the free space is two meter. The roof from a from a seventy four degree angle to ensure that the rain water won't stay on rooftop. We plan to put two dormen on the smaller roof. In Taiwan, we always say that our house should be facing south. Although it is a part of the traditional belief. It did make the house more comfortable, due to the location of Taiwan. First, we will have better natural lighting. Second, when it is summer, the house will not be facing the sunlight directly, and in the winter, the house will be facing the sun. 
Next, we will get into the materials we used and the structure and function of these materials. We want to make sure that the materials are sustainable and can reduce waste and pollution. Also, we apply smart systems to ensure the connection and control of the, of the home appliances are simple and easy. And we select materials that can support the house through natural disasters. We only select product with the following government issue mark, such as green building material mark, water conservation mark, energy label, and green mark, to reduce water pollution and runoff. We build a rain garden inside our house. As water flows through the solar layer, many of the harmful chemicals are removed. They purify the water. We also install water saving systems such as spring water harvesting system and gray water system. Gray water system reuse water from shower and washing machine to use it in gardening. To generate electricity using renewable energy, we apply solar panels on the top of our roof and use power-saving devices. And we choose from green building materials such as green concrete, wood, and calcium silicate walls. Building a smart house is a goal we want to achieve. We find that SmartThings is able to connect with different devices and Kohler has many smart things related to bad fixtures that may help us to achieve the goal. These are three products we want to put in the rooms. Thermostat, air conditioners, and air purifiers. Fridge, range, dishwasher, and microwave are smart appliances in the kitchen. A monitor for security. This monitor is more safe, private, and can be controlled by our phone. Therefore, the owner can always check from their phone. Television with the connection of smart things. We place the washer and dryer in the laundry room. The air dresser in the middle of the side is a set of this combination, yet we place it in the master bedroom. We choose a light which has collaboration with smart things. We can control the light from far away. The light bulb is colorful. It can change at different moments and creates many kinds of atmosphere. We also set up the light under the board of the stairs to prevent people from slipping. Next, we are going to talk about bedroom. The Kirano Smart Home has a smart system called DTV Plus. It's a panel that can control the water temperature and music speaker. Then, this is the toilet that we choose. There is also a panel that can control the toilet. For shower, we choose the glass that is thick, that is more safe. Last, we choose the bathtub that can fit two children. And this is the bathtub for the master bedroom. It's a jacuzzi. It can control the water, fog, and armation. It also can be controlled by DTV+. Fire alarms and fire sprinklers will be installed on the ceiling. As we know, there are earthquakes often. Therefore, we would like to use SRC structure and rebar to build our house. SRC means there is reinforced concrete outside the steel. Taiwan is flat, so humidity is an annoying problem. Hence, we select antibacterial and waterproof material. We use high-performance cement bowl at the ground floor and calcium silicate at the first and second floor. The toilet has its own special portion, and it is antibacterial. The humidifier keeps the bathroom clean and dry. Finally, emulsion paint. It can tolerate some water. So this will be a good choice. We are going to paint our house with more anti colors. Now that we have introduced part of our house, we will discuss the cost and legal concerns. The total cost for our house is about 290,000 pounds. This includes 14% on the interior design and the furniture, 26% on architecture itself and the pipelines, 50% on the land property, and 10% on the construction fee, which include the workers' wages and construction processes. This table shows more detailed costs of each area in the house, as shown here. The price for the kitchen and bathrooms are significantly higher than the others, since most of our smart devices are applied in these areas. This is the list of costs for the building itself. And this is the table of costs for special equipment in our house, such as solar panels and indoor slides. One idea to cut down costs for solar panels is to work with Taiwan Power Company. 
they will set up and pay for the solar panels but the house owner will have to share the energy produced by the panels with the company next we will introduce some of the legal concerns for this project the most important one of it is the land property according to taiwan's land act the lands are separated into four types type one is the land for construction such as dwelling house industrial factories military bases and so on type two is then for direct production type three is for communication and type four is the other lands such as desert and snowy mountains from the above we must and can only build on type one dwelling house construction land and there are some other regulations too after all the concerns and plans we finally get to the construction section in this section, we will talk about the estimated time and steps to build our house. We separate the construction into three parts. Paperwork, the actual construction, and final check. Stage one is where we come up with the more detailed layout graph and ensure all the government paperwork is done. The estimated time is two to four weeks. Stage two is when the, when the actual construction comes. It takes about 18 weeks. Stage three is the time we keep for the final check and the extra time if the construction is delayed. This is a more accurate timeline for stage two, which is the actual construction. The foundation and the framework are built for week one to five, and the pipeline and electric circuit are done after week eight. For week nine to 13, we will be focusing on the floor and paint. Lastly, we will bring in our interior design and uh, outdoor equipment. Last but not least, we will talk about our team and what we learned from this project. This is the separation of text. In this project, I do 3D drawing and furniture researching. I create site plans and searching information. I do the calculation and interior design. These are what we learn from this project. Application use what we learn from school lessons. For example, the calculation of the roofs is exactly what we learn from trigonometry classes and the rain garden is an application of earth science lessons of purifying drawn off as water runs through different layers of soil, land, and rocks. Creativity. Think outside the box. We came up with a brand new house plan and designs. Reality. We learn that there are actually multiple things we have to consider before we start building a house. And most directly, we learn about the architecture, laws, science, and math. And the skill we learn are communication and teamwork. Begin able to cooperate and share ideas with others. Most importantly, to keep learning. As we are doing the research, we find out that there are still a lot of things that we don't know about. And here are some of the areas we could improve on. Organize things before we get started. Record our discussion and separate the task more clearly. When we were doing the project, we often spent too much time doing repetitive works and focusing on unnecessary details or unworkable random ideas. Some of our budget is translated from USD or NTD to GBP. There will be some error when we do this. Furthermore, we simplify the money to make it easier to calculate. The other improvement is our plot. There are electrical layout plans, MVAC layout plans, hardware schedules, and detailed drawings for thermal building plans. To reach those plans, we need to upgrade our equipment to get into a better using quality. And we also can improve on our design. For example, the shape of our house is not that unique. We start with the basic floor pan, which seems to limit ourselves by keeping everything in rectangle section. We can also add more creativity into the house, such as some special function or artist design. Lastly, we could do more research, for instance, we can include how solar plant or water conserving facility works. These are the sources we use for our presentation. And this is the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention.